Tonight's Cowboy Super Bowl report is brought to you by Gibson's Discount Center. It's Friday. We're just a couple of days away from the Super Bowl, Super Bowl V between the Cowboys and the Colts. The 40 men are ready for the Dallas Cowboys, and there is one who has almost been forgotten. We'll talk with last year's Rookie of the Year after this message from Gibson's Discount Center. One year ago at this time, Calvin Hill was the rage of the football nation. Rookie of the Year, second leading rusher in the National Football League. Now, just a couple of days before the Super Bowl, he's almost a forgotten man, having lost his job because of injuries and the excellence of Dwayne Thomas. It has been, as you might suspect, a year of great frustration for Calvin Hill. Calvin, I know that uh, this must have been a year of frustration for you. That's a, a supposition of mine, but assuming that it's true, can you put the words of frustration, or can you put the frustration into words? Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, last year when I had a, a good personal season, I said, you know, the cake without the frosting is no good. And this year I got the frosting with no cake. So, you know, maybe next year I can put both of them together. It's been frustrating from a personal standpoint. I think it would have been even more frustrating had we not gotten into the playoffs like we did and then come this far. So this sort of takes away a little of the uh, frustration. My main thing now is, is being ready, you know, in case I'm called upon. And after that's over, to get myself ready for next year, which is going to be my, my year to redeem myself, I hope. It may be unfair to ask you to make a comparison between your talents and those of Dwayne Thomas's, but are you a Dwayne Thomas fan in, in the limited uh, area that you could be? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I knew Dwayne before, you know, before all of this happened. And, uh, you know, he and I are pretty close friends. Uh, you know, and I was, sounds almost cliche but, you know, if it had to happen, you know, if this had to happen, and it had to happen to me, I'm glad Dwayne, you know, Dwayne did it. Uh, you know, there are a lot of considerations, for example, uh, you know, Dwayne gets certain bonuses, I think, for doing certain, you know, gaining a certain amount of yards, and uh, you know, I think he achieved those bonuses. I think in terms of that rookie of the year thing, I think it was, you know, sort of sad and maybe bad that, you know, uh, you know, he came on so long, so, you know, so late in the season because, you know, they take the voting so early. Uh, yeah, I think maybe Dallas ought to give them the bonus anyhow that they, they give you for making rookie of the year. Uh, you know, I think he's a heck of a, a back, and, uh, you know, it's a good thing. I, you know, I think, you know, I'm, I'm a Calvin Hill fan, but I'm still a team fan, too, and, uh, you know, I want the team to be as strong as possible. Calvin, uh, do you do you consider yourself injury prone? You've been hurt. You were hurt last year and again this year, uh, brought down by really nagging injuries that uh, seem to persist. Do you think you're injury prone? I don't know. You know, I've been giving that a lot of consideration. You know, and, and, and even thinking about what you know what is injury prone. Um, you know, I've never been hurt as much, I guess, as I have these two last two years, and uh, I haven't even finished the season, as a matter of fact. But. You know, I haven't had any serious injuries. I guess my knees and my ankles, and as long as I can keep those together, you know, I'm going to keep trying. Uh, I think maybe I was a little too reckless a couple times this year, and, you know, I'll learn from past experience next year. I won't do the same thing. There are many options for Calvin Hill. He might be moved to tight end. He might be traded. Or he might end up as a second-string running back or a first-string running back for the Dallas Cowboys. I think possibly he wouldn't mind being traded to the Baltimore Colts, but that's just one of many options. At any rate, the future looms large. This is Vern Lundquist with the Dallas Cowboys, Channel 8 Sports in Fort Lauderdale, Florida.